the goal of looking at the, some of the weirdest previous uh, distros, new and old, I had to try out the Red Star OS. Now, what is Red Star OS? Well, it is a North Korean, yes, you're thinking right, Linux-based operating system developed at the Korea Computer Center, KCC for short. And this uh, essentially, I believe, used uh, KD3 and was made to look like Mac OS. And uh, it just leaked out onto the internet uh, a couple of years ago. And apparently it was based on Fedora. Um, this version is nine years old. Um, nothing since this ever been leaked that we know of. Well, at least I know of. And quite often you you read online that people are interested, oh, hey, how does it look? And I thought, well, I'll try it. Now, what I have done is I've got VirtualBox, but I have disabled all connect network connectivity to this box because they have found that uh, this OS likes to send data back home. So obviously the idea of this is to be used in uh, North Korea. So because we don't want to be sending any data to another country, uh, please be careful if you use this. And if you do use this, make sure this is in a virtual machine with no network connectivity to it. Because after this video, I'm going to uh, destroy this uh, virtual machine. So uh, mounted the ISO, started it up, and uh, okay, I'm just going to click here, saying something. Select, I uh, see that's the hard disk. Um, I have no clue what's going on here. So let's just do this. So in the world, okay. I guess it's North Korea. Okay. I figured out that's back and that's uh, okay. Uh, next, get some installed hard drive. And let it install. Uh, why try this out? Because, you know what, why not? Sometimes it's fun and entertaining looking at things from uh, different parts of the world that are not quite exactly the same. Um, so... Yeah, I believe, as I may already mentioned, it is based on Fedora. And even looking at some of the articles on it, even Red Star OS, um, I see that there was a late release uh, version 4, which came out, which I don't have. Uh, this was what version 2 looked like, if you're interested. Uh, also made use of KDE quite heavily. Um, and all this type of stuff of where it's been used. Um, and I believe that uh, version 4 does exist um, somewhere. But apparently they found a vulnerability in here in this, and this of course was version one. Really, it looks uh, like Windows XP there, um, and it looks like that looks like the only Office icon. So, just interested in uh, trying this. Um, yeah, don't know who or why, but. Uh, Machines that side of the world that's using this uh, distro. Boom. So, yeah, um, as we can see here, um, all the files apparently, there's files that watermark this uh, install. And yeah, however, this got leaked out and not entirely sure but that's uh, not important for us so let me pause this real time see my space counting down let's see what it does oh entitled assume that's a bit loader and here we've got 
Something's happening. Nice spinny spinny. Okay, it's a login screen, so let's type in a strong password. And here we have this uh, distro. Um, okay. That says something. Something, something red star. And actually, this is their system manager that they've got. Okay, volume. Yeah. That works. I can hear that. Don't know what this means. Click on these. Uh, it's doing something. Uh, no idea what the... And I, since I can't read uh, Korean, I can't find a way to translate this thing. Uh, anyway, let's uh, take a look at what they've got. So let's start with this thing, which is obviously their file manager, which is Dropbox. Okay, interesting. Uh, something else, something else, something else, nothing in here. Nothing in here. What about here? Nothing. Guest accounts. Okay, that, and then here we have the browser, which is not going to work. Uh, not only would it be extremely old at this point, but I have, of course, removed all connectivity to this uh, machine. Yeah. And you can see it's actually link would be going to look out. Like and local um, in that part of the world. Let's do that. Movie. Any movie is that here? Anything? Oh. Is that just nothing under there? Take it that would be music. Check it photos, movies. Nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Calendar. Hey, give them their juice. They've really, they really copied a old version of macOS in its looks. Yeah, very well. Here's a PDF viewer. Tag later. System configuration, I take it. So it will be for audio or something, something. Mouse speed, I take it. Take this would be for users. Interestingly, there's guests count and you can't. So can see you can't adjust it. Oh, you can. Nice little side effects going on here. Watch out, obviously. What else? This would change its language or something. Let's do it. it do anything? No? Let's see. Anyway, it's, what's that? There's something here. Oh, system info. And here the apps, some more apps going on here. And this thing. It's a music scale program thing. Okay, interesting. What's this? Oh, the font management thing. Okay, what about this thing? 
Oh, this looks like Office. This is an Office program. Yeah. Here we go. Programs. This PDF and this back to the browser. Look for internet, maybe some things. This here, oh, it's just up, it's up again. As we're Mac, so yeah, what I think, well, well, it was just to play around with, but uh. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly pretty published. What's that it? And uh, they really, really nailed the trying to get the Mac look here. Really well done. And it's obviously the old meta look, but it worked. Um, but yeah, what would I say? Try not to try this yourself. I don't risk it, and if you really do. Just please use a uh, virtual machine without um, any form of net connectivity because you don't know what information this stuff might take back. So, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.